All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. We're gonna be checking out this Alpha Cool Ice Wolf GPX Pro. It is the ATI RX Vega edition to uh, try and cool off my RX Vega a little bit because when I overclock it even just a little bit and I'm not overclocking at all, it gets pretty hot and the fans get pretty loud. So I decided to try out one of the aftermarket coolers. This is an all-in-one cooler from Alpha Cool, so this is the box, and then we'll go over here and we'll check it out. So. Here's the actual water block. See all in one right here. Uh, yeah, this is the water block. They're nice enough to give you a back plate with it. You get a nice, decent, thick radiator. Um, and these things are actually pretty cool. They have these quick connect hoses. So if you actually have their CPU cooler, you can kind of disconnect from this one, attach right into your CPU loop and have one uh, whole loop instead of having two custom ones. But this is all I need for now. Uh, you also get two fans, so you can set up a push pull on your radiator. A couple of stickers come in the box, these weird gel stickers, coupon code. Uh, this is a manual that kind of shows you everything about it and how to set it up with the other systems along too, like that. You can see it's hooked directly. Oh, this one has the two radiators hooked into the CPU though. Uh, this is the instruction manual, teaches you how to do it. And then of course you get your screws, they do give you some thermal compound and then you have all your thermal pads. Uh, that are actually marked out by color, which is nice. A couple of screws, so yeah, that's it. We're gonna go ahead and install this and see how we're running. I would like to show you guys me actually installing this on the car, but I have never done this, and this may take like two hours, and that wouldn't be fun to watch, so I'll be back with you guys as soon as I get it all set up. All right, this might look a little weird recording my screen, but we've been running for about 30 minutes now through this, and if I tab out, you can actually see our peak temperature is only hit 48 degrees Celsius. Um, and if you look, you see the memory says 945 uh, megahertz, and the GPU is at 1608. I forgot I flashed my uh, 56 BIOS last night to a 64 BIOS, so pushing more voltage through the memory, it might be running a little bit hotter than if you're using a 56, but 48 degrees Celsius is still nothing to complain about. And I did some overclock testing last night with it, and I think the hottest it got was 58. Uh, but yeah, so I'm just gonna upload a couple of little charts and some pictures to you guys, so you guys can see. Let me know what you think in the comments. If this is the right buy for you, I certainly love it. It's completely quiet. And by the way, this um, those temps were with, uh, I didn't adjust the fan speed at all, so I'm sure you can adjust the fan speed on these a little bit higher and get those temps down even more if you want, but this thing's completely silent when you don't mess with anything. So yeah, thanks for watching everybody. Make sure you guys like and subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you think, and I will see you guys later.